بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I am Dr. Abdurrahim Abdurrahim from the Cognitive Department. This is my last video lecture uh, in the course of uh, quality control, uh, clinical pharmacy, students third level. Uh, in this lecture, uh, I'll discuss the procedures by which a quality plant extract is, is obtained and how to apply the recent quality control procedures on that extract. To obtain a quality plant extract or herbal extract, uh, we should consider that the origin of the herbal drug is a living subject, which responds to different factors. Uh, the environmental factors uh, influence the content and the composition of ingredients of the plant. To ensure consistently good quality, we should adjust the following. First, the soil quality, light intensity, and suitable cultivation and harvesting time, the methods and exact part uh, of the plant uh, should be specified also. Uh, the second, that the drug obtained from a GAB farm should uh, uh, be processed according to uh, standard operating procedures, standard operating uh, procedures to fulfill the requirement for uh, good manufacturing practice. Uh, this means that we should determine the following, first we should determine a uh, drug to extract ratio of that extract, uh, that the uh, quality of the herbal drug to be used in the extraction process uh, should have or possess the uh, convenient degree of comminution, the suitable water content, the percent of extractable substances should also be determined. The extraction solvent, the type, the concentration, the amount, the flow speed of the uh, solvent should be specified. The procedure of extraction itself and the time of the extraction, the temperature, the pressure, all that should be determined beforehand. Additionally, the equipment used in the extraction, type this equipment and the level of the filling of the solvent also should be uh, established. Uh, there are a lot of the recent quality control methods that we want to uh, add uh, to, to check our herbal product for uh, uh, quality, for the quality. Uh, we mentioned many of the quality control procedures before regarding the identity, purity, and assay, and discussed also uh, procedures applied to a very valuable uh, herbal drug, the ginseng. Uh, however, there are, uh, there are many other uh, quality control uh, methods that need to be mentioned. For example, high performance cellular chromatography, gas chromatography, supercritical fluid chromatography, very long list of uh, quality control methods. The choice of a particular method depends on the uh, uh, plant material and the type of compounds present in the blood. Uh, the first quality control technique uh, or recent technique, a high performance layer chromatography. Uh, this is a common fingerprinting uh, technique used when the compounds uh, possess low to moderate polarities. It was used in pharmaceutical industry, uh, particularly to detect adulteration and also to uh, unveil the presence of substituents and to check the presence of compounds such as pesticides and mycotoxins. It was reported that HBTLC was used to simultaneously uh, estimate 
gallic acid, rutin, quercetin, and terminalia shibul. The second technique, the gas chromatography technique, that, as you know, is imperative that gas chromatography is applied for the analysis of volatile compounds. It uses a gas mobile phase, a carrier gas. In addition, uh, the stationary phase is either solid in gas solid chromatography or liquid in gas liquid chromatography. However, gas liquid chromatography is more uh, widely used than gas solid chromatography. Uh, uh, as I said before, it is applied for the analysis of volatile compounds. Uh, and even sometimes uh, non volatile compounds can be converted into volatile derivatives and can be analyzed by gas chromatography. However, many of the plant com uh, important uh, constituents are volatile compounds and can be directly analyzed by uh, gas chromatography, especially the volatile oils. The use of gas chromatography in analysis volatile oils uh, bears many advantages. First, <clears throat> Uh, gas chromatography provides a, a fingerprint of the constituents of the volatile oil and you can detect the presence of uh, impurities in the volatile oil, uh, being a high resolution uh, technique. Uh, secondly, the, of the preparation of volatile oil from plant material is straightforward procedure and also. Uh, uh, oil can, the oil can be standardized and the components can be readily identified using gas chromatography and spec because my spec in this case provides uh, the structure of the constituents present in the volatile oil. My spec is a very sensitive detector which it provides or gives uh, uh, the structure of uh, the compounds present the oil uh, upon compar uh, comparison with a particular library. <clears throat> Sober critical fluid chromatography is also emerged as a good technique for the analysis of uh, herbal drugs and extracts. It is a hybrid of gas. Uh, and liquid chromatography. Uh, it combines some of the useful uh, features of each uh, 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 type of uh, techniques. Sober critical fluid chromatography uh, determines how uh, use the four compounds which are not uh, uh, conveniently analyzed by, by gas chromatography or HBNC. Or HV LSE. Uh, such compounds probably are not volatile and they cannot pro uh, by, uh, analyzed by gas chromatography. Or thermally labile. In case of volatile and thermally labile compounds, they probably cannot be analyzed by gas chromatography. Additionally, they may not contain functional group needed for uh, analysis using HV LSE. In this case, we use sober critical fluid chromatography to uh, determine or analyze these compounds. Electrophoretic methods, uh, these include uh, capillary zone electrophoresis, capillary gel electrophoresis, and capillary iso electric focusing. These techniques, capillary electrophoresis, needs a very small amount of standard and can analyze samples rapidly with a very good uh, uh, separation ability. It is not considered a chromatography technique because the separation in electrophoresis is brought about by the uh, electrostatic attractions, not by the movement of mobile phase over stationary phase. It provides or produces uh, chemical fingerprints of herbal medicines. 
uh, which are similar to those produced by liquid chromatography. Alkaloids and flavonoids, two categories of compounds that could be analyzed by uh, electrophoretic techniques. Both of them are sort of ionic compounds. Ionic compounds under a certain pH, uh, they carry a charge and can be analyzed by these electrophoretic techniques. Geometric methods. Geometric uh, methods, geometrics, uh, 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 the statistical approach to analyze an instrumental data. And they result in a fast and precise assessment of composition of a product or even the physical and the chemical uh, properties of the product. For example, the, in case of their products, we can uh, study the composition. Uh, the, 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 the fats, fiber, moisture, carbohydrate content of these products uh, by use of infrared spectroscopy combined with geometrics. Yeah. And the spectroscopy technique combined with geometrics can uh, uh, detect the uh, characters or study the uh, or evaluate certain uh, components and uh, uh, in, in these products. Even the taste, smell, astringency can also be monitored uh, uh, by use of geometric technology. It was also used to predict the property of interest and classify the samples. Metabolomic uh, techniques uh, this technique uh, is a recent technique, adva advanced uh, emerging field of uh, omics uh, concerned with the characterization of large number of constituents in a plant uh, material. It uses spectroscopy, NMR, chromatography, and mass spec. It was used in uh, metabolomic profiling of cells, tissues, or organisms. Uh, however, it is a technique which needs experience, uh, often require specialized or expensive data analysis software. It was used in the analysis of active constituents from herbal medicine. Uh, it was employed in identification of chemical constituents present in plants such as, such as Sephora flavescence. The recent studies that uh, show that NMR based metabolomics uh, combined with the orthogonal projection identified purity of herbal medicines. A metabolic study also was reported. Uh, by using H1 NMR or protein NMR combined with geometric methods or analysis, disclose the impact of origin and purity and preparation method on the quality of chamomile extracts. The seventh technique, differential pulse polarography. This, or DBP, this technique used to study trace amounts of chemicals and herbal preparations, uh, such as, for example, heavy metals, down to a concentration 10 raised to the power minus 8 mole, uh, very, very trace amount, uh, were detected by use of uh, differential pulse fluorography. These heavy metals estimated by DBB were include lead, cadmium, zinc, copper, and iron. Uh, 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 determined in plants such as, uh, such as chamomile and glandula flowers. It was also used to uh, 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 follow or trace uh, accumulation of heavy metals such as lead, 
lead, uh, cadmium, and copper and zinc in marketed uh, samples of important herbal Indian uh, plants, Alp Alp Albinia, Galanga, Artemisia, Barbilora, Butia, Monosperma, and so on. Uh, Carcoma, Amada, all these uh, plants were analyzed for their uh, heavy metal content using uh, DBB. The cadmium and uh, lead concentration uh, were found to be beyond permissible limits uh, in some uh, many samples. Uh, DBP was also used to trace the presence of selenium, Chinese herbal drugs and medicines, and also flavonoids present uh, a small amount of medicinal herbs. Total hybridine level and fight pharmaceutical preparations was also studied or determined by use of differential pulse fluorography at pH from 3.5 to 10. Uh, using the buffers, uh, which pH ranges from 3.5 to 10. X-ray powder diffractometry or XRBD. This technique was also used to identify minerals and crystalline materials and metallic based and metallic, and metallic based herbal formulations. For example, uh, the 10 based herbal uh, product, Indian product, Banga Bar Balm, was estimated by use of XRT. X ray powder diffractometry confirmed formation of phospholipid complex with amodine, nanogen complex, uh, and quercetin and gallic acid. Thermal analysis, different uh, procedures for thermal, uh, thermal analysis include uh, thermogravimetric analysis, TGA, uh, differential thermal analysis, differential thermal analysis, uh, DTA, and differential scanning calorimetry, DSC, were used to study different physical and chemical changes in various herbal products. Uh, TGA uh, can determine alcohol content of uh, alcoholic or herbal formulations, uh, can be used to determine metals present in herbal medicine. Uh, DSC or differential uh, scanning calorimetry will confirm the formation of phospholipid complex with MOT. Hydrophilic interaction chromatography or, or helic. Uh, it is a liquid chromatography technique which uses polar stationary phase silica and a mobile phase containing a pitchable amount of water ranging from 2.5 to 40 percent with higher proportion with higher proportion of less polar solvent such as acetonitrile. This technique was used to estimate or analyze uh, dense sheen and panic speech, and we dis uh, discussed that before. Uh, in, uh, in case of ginseng uh, uh, or panic, uh, not ginseng, also was used in the quality control of salvia, salvia meltres. Quantitative MMR, MMR can be used in two applications, absolute quantitation of natural product, metabolomics, and quantitative quantitation of many analytes. Uh, QNMR is characterized by being sensitive, universal, precise technique, uh, reduces or uh, uh, replace other quantitative techniques being non-destructive method. 
However, sensitivity is less than other spectroscopic means, IR or UV. Uh, and, uh, it needs a uh, whole lot of uh, material. Uh, examples include the use of quantitative h one nr to analyze Indian missile plants, such as the Thania somnifera and Ancestanin in German juice and Imperatorin in Candis. Therefore, it can, it can be used in the analysis of plant material or medicinals in plant material and also in, 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 in products, food products. It can be used in purity determination and metabolic studies and multi-marker uh, quantitation. High-speed counter-current chromatography, or HSCC, uh, 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 counter-current chromatography uses, so, uh, uses no solid support. Uh, and the high speed was uh, obtained by application of the use of rotating coiled tube. Uh, the technique was used in the separation of tensionones from salvia and meltoeza, colored dietary beans, isolation of steviol glycosides from stevia rhabdoidea, as well as isolation of genovozide from uh, gardenia gesmonis and anidoid glycoside. Ultra performance liquid chromatography. Uh, this technique is a kind of liquid chromatography which is marked by speed, resolution, and sensitivity. Use of, use of less than two microgram uh, particle size. The size of particle size is very small. It decreases time by analysis and use, use very high pressure compared to regular HVLC with no negative influence on the analytical column. It uses UV detector or MS detector. Uh, it can be used also in natural and herbal medicines. Thank you.